to answer your question, the question was, why didn't I got not get any alerts on the DAX on the 1st of April? Now, of course, that sounds like an April Fool's question, I suppose. Um, <laughs> it obviously isn't. It actually happened. There was no evidence of alerts, except for possibly timescales. It may have been you were looking at smaller timescales rather than larger timescales, and um, that will have influenced it. You get an alert whenever the alert is valid. You get an alert whenever there's a change from bull to bearishness on any one of the indicators from S Trader, M Trader, M Trader 3, Litmus Test, or Bull Bear Butterfly. You get the alerts essentially on the S Trader, M Trader, and M Trader 3. There are no alerts on the Litmus Test yet, but um, that shouldn't have presented it you with a problem. The reason why is if I just point out here on the four hour chart, we're on the four hour chart, four hour. We have an alert on the four hour chart, which is the four o'clock candle on the four hour chart. We've got S Trader and M Trader going long on the four hour chart. We're in the butterfly zone on the bull bear butterfly. Litmus test hasn't yet clicked over. Um, but that is a potential entry point long, and you would have got a trade alert long at that point. Now, this is obviously the markets were behaving very, very strangely and not necessarily want to take the trade. Uh, but had you wished to, the alert long was at that point. And it would have given you a trade to T1. T1 would have been roughly around this level here, and T2 would have been roughly around this level here, and T3 would have been roughly around this level here. Let's just see what developed as a result of that. So let's just move the candle along one, if I can. There we are. And you can see that actually that trade alert there on the four hour candle at eight o'clock in the morning, you'd have got the signal at eight, uh, eight British time, eight GMT. The signal alert to trade long at that point uh, was there. And the trade would have hit T3, possibly even T4. So that's the answer to the question about why you didn't get any trade alerts. It's probably because you're looking at the at a different time scale, a smaller time scale. Let me just pause this video and bring you down to the smaller time scales, and we can investigate that further. So now we're down at the one hour chart, and you can see on the one hour chart we did actually get a trade alert. The trade alert long there. We had a trade alert from S Trader. That was actually. Uh, in the middle of the night, that would have taken place on the one hour chart at two in the morning. That take place at three in the morning, and this took place at uh, five in the morning there. So five o'clock, we would have got the trade alert long on the one hour at this point here. And again, we can see how that might have developed had we actually been there to take it or what we decided to do. You can see that in fact, the trade was there and the trade was made successfully off of essentially any one of these alerts all the way up there and that would have been 240 250 pips um, very nice trade so let's have a look at the 30 minute chart see what the 30 minute chart's got to say so on the 30 minute chart uh, much less clear cut in this particular case reason being the bull bear butterfly is below the line that's there so we're looking for short trades However, S Trader, M Trader, and the M Trader 3 have all kicked up. Limits test has gone to neutral. We have an entry above this level here. Uh, that would have been signaled um, on this candle by M Trader 3. It would have been signaled uh, on this candle by M Trader or this candle by S Trader. So, any one of those. Uh, clearly, most people would have been asleep in the UK at that time because that would be 2.30 in the morning. This would be three o'clock, because uh, that's a 2.30 candle, so three o'clock alert. And this alert would have been at 4.30 in the morning. Uh, again, let's just see how that would have developed. And we can slide this chart across. It develops along here, and there we have it at the 5.30 candle with a massive pulse up with a pullback, and then the break to the upside. So the break to the upside was on the 6.30 candle when it was really clear that it had broken to the upside. This was the open of the DAX, so this was the entry price of the open. Uh, had you been there watching its trade on that open, that candle is a clear bull candle. Everything is bullish all the way through, so we're ready to go long if it breaks out above there. You may have got uh, 
stopped out with a stop pulling back here but I don't know what the detail of that trade looked like uh, there you have it that's the 30 minute candle but really the entry point on that would have been if you entered above this level here the stop would have been down here so you would not have got stopped out you would have got in around this sort of level here and you would have taken the trade all the way through so um, I hope that helps um, let's have a look at a smaller time zone well we'll just scroll this along a bit more first see what happens um, yeah that just stayed with it it was completely long all the way through again about 220 pips for that part of the move um, and we didn't get any turn around any other uh, trigger information at all so I completely understand where they're coming from now let's have a look at the 15 minute chart so on the 15 minute chart we can see that uh, the movement here has been coming along here moving along and we have litmus test has gone completely bullish uh, M Trader 3 is completely bullish M Trader is completely bullish S Trader is completely bullish that is a kick to the upside for all of those you may have chosen not to take that trade at this particular point in time because the bull bear butterfly is saying we're bear and we are overall the market has been coming down so this would be a counter trend trade rather than a trend trade which is the other reason why you may not have seen the alerts on on this particular one however there you have it we got all the alerts 630 candle on the 15 minute chart that would have been at 645 we have an entry long let's just see how that would have panned out and uh, you can see here uh, once again it the entry point was there so we're looking for a long trade the stops were down here so you may have got stopped out here you may not it's pretty tight candle all in all then then this particular day it would seem that the one hour chart signal taken early in the morning would have been the right thing to do or the four hour candle taken uh, as a four hour candle trade alert and that would probably have given you a good return totally understand how you didn't get any signals to go long after the start move started because it was such a powerful strong move it just went first real opportunity on the 15 minute was here um, as it ticked back there we've got a pullback so anything any short that fails that's a short alert any short alert that fails becomes a long alert at the stop price that that short alert had um, because if it goes if it goes long above that you can see now as well that the bull bear butterfly is way up above the middle dotted line and rising and climbing so there was a possible trade opportunity but your best ones really were, were earlier on in the morning um, and probably the very best one was off the four hour candle as it happened i do hope that helps you and that it helps explain it all please do give me a call or email me or whatever i'd love to chat with you about it and uh, yeah thanks a lot for the question so yeah, this is John Cato, from the Trading and the Next Profit Lab.